Today is gonna be a great day because we're gonna be making the best ever brownie bites. Yeah, what do you think about that? Because I'm excited. Hi, I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and you can learn so much about your health at thebiblicalnutritionist.com. Be sure and check that out. Today, we're gonna make a family favorite, a new family favorite, because I'm gonna teach you how to enhance it with protein and fiber. Yes, that's the key to keeping our gut and our brain healthy and working for us. All right, let's get started on our protein brownie bites. We're gonna start with three eggs. Now, when you get your eggs, if you can find a farmer nearby, that would be fantastic. So I'm just gonna lightly whip these up, blend them in. If you find a farmer, you wanna make sure the farmer is feeding the chickens some non-GMO feed. You know, it doesn't always have to be organic. You know, we get all hung up over the word organic when really if I find a farmer who's feeding their chickens a non-GMO feed, I'm good with that. That's going to be a farmer that I trust for my health. All right, so I'm also adding in some olive oil. I'm going to put the recipe down below and some honey. Now my honey I also get from a beekeeper nearby. Now this honey actually is not as liquidy as I like because it's starting to solidify. So when that happens, I don't throw it away. Do not ever throw away honey. Just because it gets solid, just warm it up a little bit, low heat, and it'll come right back to life for you. All right, so I mix that up. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my vanilla extract. I don't know where you get your vanilla extract, but I always get mine when I go to the Caribbean and to Mexico. To that, I'm gonna add my baking powder. My baking powder is my leavening agent. If you've watched the unleavened bread recipe video, then you know that's, a, that's an ingredient we don't use when we're making unleavened bread. Now I'm gonna use a gluten-free uh, flour. This is made by Bob's Red Mill. I'll put a link to it down below. And it's, the base of it is just garbanzo beans. And what are garbanzo beans also called? Do you know? Do you know their other name? If so, put it in the comments down below. I wanna see how many of you get this right. Write it quickly, because I'm about to tell you the answer, <laughs> okay? All right, so the other word for garbanzo beans is chickpeas, yes. For those of you who guessed that, good for you. All right, so I'm mixing this up. Now, eh, it just looks like cake batter right now. So let's go ahead and add some cocoa powder. I like to buy, I do like to buy organic dark cocoa powder. I gotta mix this a little bit slower or I will be wearing it. Yeah, so I did the oil, I did the honey, I did the vanilla, I did the flour. Now really, you could use any flour. You could use an almond flour, you could use just a regular flour. I always teach for you, if you're going to use regular flour, that you mill it yourself. All of the goodness that God put in the grain of wheat is amazing. And I have an amazing video that talks about the chromosomes in the wheat and how it, to me, it's a symbol of the Trinity. You really gotta watch that video. It is, when I discovered that, it like outranked cruciferous in, in my book of knowledge of healthy living. Okay. Now, here's where we're really gonna start enhancing it. This is about a half a cup of protein powder. And it's interesting, so I'm using more of a garbanzo flour, and I'm also using a chickpea, same thing, chickpea protein. Now, I've used protein powders pretty much every day since about 2003 when we changed our health over. And I've used soy protein powders, I've used other ingredients, non-soy, and now I have camped out on this one. This is, comes in chocolate, comes in vanilla. And I'm telling you, the chickpea protein powder is just creamier. It just tastes delicious. The vanilla is actually my favorite. The chocolate's good too. And I'm telling you, I use this, I offer this with all of my clients. It's like, hey, if you really wanna start a healing action in your gut, then you need to start with this protein powder. It is that good. 
I use it with my clients that I also train to be coaches. So, you know, we do a lot here at the Biblical Nutritionist. So a lot of good things. Now, there's a seed fiber by the same company. Oh, and the seeds are pretty much, you know, everything from black cumin seed to cranberry seed to grape seed, uh, sunflower seed, all of these extracts. And so this is a seed fiber. Now it's a seed fiber that's obviously gonna add fiber to our brownies, which is always a plus. And because you know I'm the queen of fiber and I want you to get a lot of fiber in your diet. Because once again, if I can help heal your gut, I can help you feel amazing. Because <laughs> everybody has gut issues. We just, and some people do choose to talk about it. And the rest of us are like, we don't wanna hear about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so this seed fiber is not just a fiber. When my husband and I first started doing the healthy living you know, transformation, we, um, we were able to drop his cholesterol from 300 to 140, his triglycerides from 900 to 160 in 30 days. Well, we switched to the Daniel fast eating plan, which is basically no animal products. And then we added in fiber. Well, we used a fiber supplement that was actually designed to bring down cholesterol. Well, all fiber will bring down cholesterol. We were just doing therapeutic doses of it. So this is a good fiber and it will do the same thing, but this has a fiber blend that's going to once again contribute to healing the gut. All of your hormones start in your gut, or most of them. Your neurons that connect your gut to all your organs, all your systems, the way you think, the way you act, the way you believe, all starts in your gut. So these brownies are gonna be the bomb, and I mean that in a good way, for healing your gut. So yeah, I really recommend the seed fiber. All right, we're ready to go. We have a yummy, yummy, yummy. Looks as good as Duncan Hines, doesn't it? Only it's gonna be a lot healthier. All right, I'm gonna get my trays and we will go ahead and start filling these up. I'm gonna use the mini muffin tins because they're just a lot more fun. Okay. We are going, I'm using the small scoop. I'll put a link to this down below. Scoops basically come in a small, medium, and large. They also come with numbers like a number 60, a number 40, number 20, and I'll put all that information down below. And I just love working with scoops. They make it so that your muffins are all uniform in size, which means they're all gonna bake at the same time. And if you're new to cooking, that's really important. Now, I'm not, I'm not the perfect cook. <laughs> And I've been very evident about that in all my videos when I make mishaps and I let you see my mishaps. But you know what? I never quit and I wanna feed my family healthy. And the best way to do that is when I control the ingredients. I share that a lot on our Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study. When you control the ingredients in your family's food, you control their health. And when you control their health, you control their future. All right, so I'm gonna finish putting these in the tray, get them in the oven. They're gonna bake for, I think it's like, um, let me just check my notes. Yeah, 13 to 15 minutes. We're gonna bake them at, we're gonna bake them at 350. And remember, the recipe will be down below and I'll see you when I get these out of the oven. Okay, here we have our little brownie bites. Chocolate, if you love chocolate, this is it. If you love having food that you can enjoy and not feel guilty about, hey, this is it. So here we have our best ever brownie bites. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. hope you enjoy it. And hey, let your kids help you in the kitchen as well and have some fun with it. Thanks for watching. I'm Annette Reader, The Biblical Nutritionist. Be sure and check out thebiblicalnutritionist.com for more information or go to Biblical Nutrition Academy if you really want to get started learning. I'm so glad you joined me. Thanks for coming.